It was the outcome Paris hoped to prevent. On Tuesday, the Cameroonian government said that seven French tourists kidnapped earlier in the day had been moved over the border into northern Nigeria. The region, the scene of bloody attacks by Islamist radicals in recent years. The French holidaymakers were on a trip to Waza National Park in Cameroon's far north when they were taken hostage. The manager of the park's hotel spoke by telephone and confirmed that the family had stayed there. They spent the night here. They left very early in the morning to go about 120 kilometers from here. There were four children and three adults. A Western diplomat said the tourists were later kidnapped by six armed men on motorbikes near the village of Dabanga. French President François Hollande described the region as dangerous. They have been abducted by a terrorist group because even in that part of Africa the threat exists. It's a terrorist group that is likely based in Nigeria and our citizens are already there. No group has claimed responsibility so far, but the French government suspects Nigerian Islamist group Boko Haram, fearing it could be a reprisal for France's military intervention in Mali. The zone where they were kidnapped is in the north of Cameroon, not far from Nigeria and Chad. And that leads us to ask if it is Boko Haram, which in the past has already been connected with terrorist organizations in Mali. François Hollande acknowledged that French nationals have been targeted in some parts of Africa, but he insists this was the case before the Malian operation. There are now believed to be 15 French hostages held between Nigeria, Mali and Cameroon.